welcome to signal and system lecture series here in this session i'll be going to explain initial value theorem now see first of all what is initial value theorem initial value theorem is used to identify initial value of any signal or function so this theorem is been utilized to identify initial value of any signal or function so usually we try to identify value of signal or function at time t is equals to 0 plus time so at the beginning of that signal what is the value of that function that is what we identify by using initial value theorem so ultimately if signal in time domain is represented by f of t and in laplace domain if it is represented by f of s then initial value of f of t or f of s that can be calculated by f0 plus i mentioned that by f0 plus because of it is initial value at time t is equals to 0 plus second we can calculate that for laplace domain with limit s tends to infinite s into f of s so by using this formula limit s tends to infinite s into f of s we can calculate initial value of function by using initial value theorem and in time domain we can calculate it by time t tends to 0 f of t so in time domain we can apply limit t tends to 0 f of t for a calculation of initial value while in case of laplace domain we can apply limit s tends to infinite s f of s to have a calculation of initial value so this is so essential formula which you can utilize it to have a calculation of any function or signal for initial value. Let us have one example so it will be more clear. Now see here question is if you have been given with f of s in Laplace domain and that is 2 divided by s plus 2. Question is find initial value of f of s so as i have told over here initial value theorem explains you initial value for laplace domain it will be limit s tends to infinite s into f of s now if i apply this function in this formula then this will be limit s tends to infinite s into f of s is 2 divided by s plus 2. Now if you take s common from denominator, ss will get cancelled and this will be 2 divided by 1 plus 2 by s. So this is what 2 divided by 1 plus 2 by s. S. Now if you substitute S tends to infinite over here, you will be finding solution of this example and that will be 2 divided by 1 plus 2 by infinite that is 0. So this will be 2 by 1, 1 plus 0 that is 2. So initial value for this given function that is 2 here. So initial value theorem that is been utilized to have a calculation of value at time t is equals to 0 time second and to have a calculation of it in Laplace domain we can apply limit s tends to infinite s f of s and in time domain we need to apply limit t tends to 0 f of t. So this is what about initial value theorem. I hope that you have understood this session. In next session I will be explaining final value theorem. So stay tuned with this channel. Next I will be explaining final value theorem.